energize the bunny I'm just walking, skipping, running on my way to this money People wanna laugh at me, but ain't nothing funny I'm so dope, too dope, too dope Ain't no choice but to love me Hi Virgos, this is High Priestess Nayla Latrice here to give you all some messages. I know you guys have two reads up already, but I am outside um, healing and just being out in nature, allowing the sun, you know, to, to um, caress my skin and caress my body. And it's like, I cannot be outside and not do a read for the Virgos, so... You guys are lucky and blessed today with all of this um, energy that I'm putting out for you guys, okay? Um, you guys will have the background noises of being outside, of course. This wind, Virgo, oh my God, it feels amazing. Y'all know when y'all just got that really good, cool breeze, it's just flowing through, but this sun is still very warm and, and so forth that's shining on me so it's 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 just really really um it feels really good virgo okay so let's see what spirit i'm not gonna make this long you know i'm gonna keep this pretty short just want to pull a little bit of energy just to see um somebody may need this message okay oh we have the eight of cups and then we have the king of swords so virgos you guys could be walking away from a libra gemini or a capricorn you guys are definitely cutting something off. These cars just want to fall. But you guys are definitely cutting something off and walking away from something is what I see. You guys are being very serious because you know who you are. You're this empress and you're not taking no shit from nobody. You're not taking, you know, any type of negativity or any type of abuse or anything that's not serving you from anybody. So whether this is a, a air sign or not, you're walking away from people who got you fucked up pretty much. You know, I'm, this moon here is giving me that smug type of energy. If you guys see how that moon is looking, it's like people were just kind of smug around you or thinking that they could just treat you any old type of way and that you are going to stick around. And that you are just going to stay, you know, and allow them to mistreat you, okay? But you could have ghosted somebody as well. You could have ghosted somebody. I feel like you're being very serious. You're being very strategic. You're thinking very logically at this time. You're, it's kind of like a head over heart decision. Because you know who you are. You know who you are at the end of the day. Great Spirit, what messages do we have for Virgos? It's like, okay, cut it off, walk away. What else is here for Virgos? What else is here for Virgos? <laughs> Gotta wave to my neighbors, you know. <laughs> Look, we have the Page of Cups, and then we also have the Hanged Man here, okay? So it's like, as soon as you walk away, it's like, um, well, one, whoever this person was was very immature, they were, they were delaying the relationship. They were delaying the connection here. Okay? But it's like they were being immature, but they may try to surprise you and pop up after you've walked away. But they're not going to get anywhere. They're going to be delayed. They're going to be stopped. Yeah, this person is going to try to take action towards you. You see how they're coming after you? This person is coming after you. But I also feel... Right after you walk away, you're running into some type of surprise. Something is being enlightened. You're being enlightened about something. What is this hanged man? Because this positioning is kind of off or weird. But I do feel like this person had uh, was causing delays in the connection. Yeah, look. This hanged man. Because this person can't do anything. Because they were acting immature. They were just being immature. So you had to cut this person off. Yep, this is a connection here. Yeah, so this is about you walking away from uh, this air sign here. Somebody that was immature, just emotionally. They couldn't give you what you needed emotionally. But maybe they're stuck on you. Maybe they've been enlightened about who you really are or who you really were to them. But it's too late now. It's like you're standing your ground. But now it's like they're feeling in this energy. They, it's kind of like, dang. They feel like there's nothing that they can do about this connection. Yeah, look, you're moving forward. 
You're moving away from this connection here. Okay, let's see what else is here for the Virgos. This is for the Virgo spirit. Let's get one more good one. You have victory coming in because spirit says so. Look, I'm telling you, a lot of fiery action is going on. Come on. Shoot, fly. Okay, so definitely something new taking place. Some type of new project. Yeah, because your ships are coming in, Virgo. This Ten of Pentacles energy here. You're taking this new leap of faith here, Virgo. Something in regards to your family. Something that you're doing. It's like you want to leave wealth. You want to leave a legacy for your family. Some type of project is going to lead to this Ten of Pentacles. It's going to lead to stability. It's going to lead to your ships coming in here, Virgo. Because you decide to take this leap of faith. And it gave you this victory here. And this will of fortune is turning. And again, God is all over this situation for you. God is in control. God says it's time for you to receive this victory. God says it's time for you to take this new leap of faith. It's time for you to go in a new direction. Spirit says it's time for you to receive your ships coming in. You've turned your back on everything that you've needed to. There's no more lessons, Virgo. There's no more lessons. You've learned everything you've needed to learn when it comes to family, when it comes to spirituality. Of course, we're always going to be learning and evolving, but you've learned enough to make this will turn into your favor to where you can ride off into the sunset with this victory here. You guys are leaders. You guys may be the leader of a team or a manager of a team at work here. You guys could be being handed off some type of new work project. Maybe you guys are upgrading from being, um, you know, um, um, a staff member to uh, management, okay, something like that. You guys are being promoted at work. Some type of blessing is coming in. We got the Ace of Wands, the Three of Wands. This is talking about your blessings coming in. What you've manifested is, is calling in. It's here, okay? You guys could have been waiting a long time. Something could be at a distance. This could be a new job, a new position that's going to call you to have to move for some of you guys. This is a good, this is something good for your family though. The outcome is going to be you being settled, okay? You have the stability that you desire. You may not get this wealth instantaneously, but these decisions and this new position or whatever this is that you're stepping into is going to lead to your family stability for a long time. So for the next 5, 10, 15 years, whatever this is that you're starting now, um, it's like take this chance. It's like this full card energy. Take this chance because it's going to give you the stability that you need, the security that you need. So maybe you've been moving around or you, you, you've you been going from job to job. Maybe you've been moving from city to city. Maybe you've been moving from house to house. Whatever the case may be, whatever this is that's coming in for you, Virgo, okay, you're definitely going to have the stability that you need. I'm hearing emergency um, vehicles, okay? So something is happening very quickly. Whoop. It's like ring the alarm. Spirit is sounding off and letting you know to take this leap of faith. Start this new beginning. It's like the rose that grew from the concrete. Okay. Was that Aretha Franklin and Fantasia? I think they sang that song together. Okay. Um, you guys can go look that up. It's like you are the rose that grew from the concrete, Virgo. It's like uh, it's like you've been through so much. So you've been hardened and everything else, but you 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 still bloom. It's kind of like the lotus flower. You get this victory. God is leading you into the victory that you deserve. And it's allowing this will to turn. Virgo, these are your messages. God is with you. This is that alarm. This is that wake-up call. Spirit says, are you ready? Get ready for this. This is very beautiful energy here, Virgo. I'm going to leave it here. I just wanted to give you guys a quick message while I was outside, okay? And the overall message, you're receiving a lot of stability, okay, because of all your hard work, because of your perseverance, okay? You've conquered and, and have made it through what most people would have failed at or they couldn't walk a day in your shoes, Virgo, but you did. And look how gracious you are. It's like you're unbothered. It's like you don't mind taking risks because you've been through it all. It's like, what can harm you? 
It's like everything you've been through, it's like you might as well jump out of the plane. You might as well go parachuting. You might as well get on the roller coaster. You might as well be adventurous because everything you've been through, some of you guys, you know, death was coming for you. Maybe within your health or maybe, you know, you guys were in a car accident or something that maybe you literally, your life was not supposed to be here, but it was because you still here and you watching this video. That's why you're the rose that grew out of the concrete, Virgo. Because no matter what, you persevered. And that's what, you, that's what you've done. And that's what you will continue to do. Because all I do is win, win, win. No matter what, you are victorious. So Virgo, this is your message. You guys can book your personals down below. You guys can connect with me. Okay, and I will see you guys in the next one. I am High Priestess Nayla Latrice. Peace.